But I guess I ain't gonna have to worry about my videos cutting out anymore because you know what? I'm tired of fucking Facebook and YouTube violating, not posting my stuff. I be doing lives. Be dropping this. Sometimes I drop a nice jewel and they don't even post it. And I don't, I don't know if y'all gonna be able to relate, but it's like Lil Wayne and said, and I don't believe him, but his principle is true. He don't write shit down. Jay-Z said the same thing, right? Because when you let the source speak through you, the realest and the illest and the best shit come out. We a conduit. We a vessel. So sometimes when I'm on my lives, some real shit come out and they just be like, nope. So you know what? Fuck them lives now. I'm just gonna start making videos, recording my shit, and then uploading my shit. Then what they gonna do? See, cause now when, when I do the live and they don't upload my shit, it's gone. But when I do a video, if they don't upload my shit, my stuff, it's still all good, cause I'll just upload it again. Now I know Facebook, YouTube, Google, you know what I'm saying? I know they really don't you know, I don't really spit that, that tune that they like to dance to, but at the end of the day, I thought it was freedom of speech. I thought it was a non-censorship platform. Wow. Anyway, yo, what's the vibes, y'all? I'm showing y'all a look at my um black and white dunks today, Panda Edition. You know, that's when my first video was on. You know, I just got these bad boys today. I had copped this outfit a couple weeks ago, these pants and this hoodie, and I was looking for some kicks to kind of do in the mix with them. You know what I'm saying? I think these is all right. I caught these for a cool 90 bucks off of Stock X. You know what I mean? Finish the fit. Um, You know, a little ice cream, ice cream, top and bottom, dunks on. Ice cream hat. You know what I'm saying? Something like. But, um, yeah, I got the unboxing and everything coming soon. You know, I got to work on my patience because I'm used to getting boxes and just shredding them shit open. And then I'm always like, oh, damn, I could have did an unboxing. As much packages as I get. But, um, still waiting on a move, you know, still waiting on my Southern heritage to be activated. Uh, oh yeah, so cool point, right? I lost like a couple subscribers, man. I just be saying stuff that's just not acceptable, you know, and that's okay. I could lose a couple more. That's fine with me. Check it out. And the reason why I say that, I mean, I would like more subscribers, right? More people to have access to the information I'm proposing, but I'm not gonna like change my message because then it's like, it's not my message. You feel me? I could clean it up. I could do certain things, but change the base meaning and base direction, not unless my mind changes. Anyway, I was thinking about something, right? Religious war. Thou shall not kill. You know, it's like we all, you know, I mean, how do we get to pick and choose what rules we want to follow? And who is, who is like in charge of what God's word is? Is his word don't kill? Is it eye for eye? Is it turn the other cheek? You know, is it the Old Testament? Is it the New Testament? Which God are we dealing with? How he feeling? Is it the Pope? Is it the Black Pope? The Black Pope? Yeah, the Black Pope. Never heard of him? Check him out. He's the Pope's daddy. The Pope got a, you know what I'm saying? He got more authority than the Pope. But uh, it's nice outside, you know. Swag's on the million billion trillion. Um, this year coming up is gonna be a year focused on self-improvement, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just being a, more conscious, more observant, and a higher level of productivity. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
Yeah, so, I mean, many different avenues at my disposal. Focusing and narrowing down on which one I really want to put my time into is going to be key. Going to get my dream wall back up and running. Everything groovy, man. Everything swaggy. Yo, I see these nines I want. They're not nines. They, they 12s? They not 12s. Are they 14s? Man, I'm a sneaker. I'm the only sneakerhead you know that don't even know the number of the Jordan. Some would say, you're not a sneakerhead. Fine. I'm not a sneakerhead. I got more sneakers than you, though. And even if I don't, that's fine. I don't need more sneakers than you, but I got enough. And I'm getting more. Um, And Swag's on the man being trend over here. I don't know about over there. So, um, I wouldn't say they 12s, but anyway, um, they black, purple, and blue. They're mostly black, and they just got the little purple and the blue on the side. I'm like, ooh, wow, them shit is hard. Them shit go bang, bang. She bang, bang, she bang, bang. Oh, no, it's a dream. I don't even know what happens to you, like, you know what I'm saying? That shit probably like being crushed by a mountain or something. Nah, a mountain's a lot more. But getting hit by a fucking train, like moving that speed? Shit. So yeah, I don't know, man. I think maybe somebody can show me some drip, some fire, something, man. Cause I'm about, to, I'm about to start up my little collection. I'm about to get my little shoe boxes so I can have all my shoes all set up and get my hat back and get my clothes back. When I move and get a lot more space, I'm gonna organize everything. Trill, she's gonna be, it's gonna be fire. I'm gonna have my camera so I can hit the button, turn my shit on, full body, half body. I think I'm gonna be sitting down with my presentations, but. I get y'all to, you know, I get up and do the spinning for y'all and shit when I get my thing going and uh, make sure y'all could get, you know, I might even do, you know, people getting dressed and all that, I might do that, you know, I don't know yet. This shit is cool for a little $90, though. You know, like 120 with the tax, shipping, whatever the fuck. This shit is cool for a little $90. They ain't gonna hold you. They ain't gonna last too long, but they only, they only $90, though. I know you want... I mean, listen. If you wear them every day, they ain't gonna last so long. I'm not gonna wear these every day, but, like, the way I play... They ain't gonna last too long. Like, they already all beat up in the front. I didn't even touch anything. Like, I don't even know how that happened. But that's okay. You know? That's what sneakers are for. They need to be worn. They need to be torn and beat and abused. So long as you're having fun in them. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to my boy the other day. He had some J's. I was like, oh, I like those. And he was like, yeah, man, I play basketball. And then people was like, I'm like, people was like, what? You playing Basketball and basketball sneakers and fucking Jordans? No way, man. Come on, dude. That's what they for. Now I get the whole collector's point, too. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to act like I don't understand that angle, but I'm just saying. Man, somebody buy some fresh new J's out the store and throw them on and go play on them. That's what they for, dude. You know what I'm saying? They fucking sneakers, my guy. We get a little bit too crazy in our head with these kicks and shit and forget these sneakers, you know what I mean? These shits is not like idols or fucking Buddha statues or they sneaks, bro. Throw them shits on, get crazy. You know what I mean? I know you want them to look pristine. Buy another pair, my guy. Oh, God, like that. What then? Then you, gonna, you should look like you ain't. Well, I ain't gonna say you should look like that, but like if you don't got it like that, 
then you know what I'm saying? It's fine, bro. You don't need to have it. Like, everybody don't gotta have it like that. It's all good. Just do what you do and do your shit well. Be you good. Yeah, baby. So listen. Alright, my panda review, right? For the bread, you can't go wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's like a pair of ups. A pair of uptowns cost more than ninety dollars, right? It's just like 120, 150. You know what I mean? These to me got more bop than ups. They can't replace the uptowns, but you know what I'm saying? They're more versatile. You know what I'm saying? I mean, uptowns come in all different type of colors, but I'm saying like it's the black or the whites. They don't have. They do have black and white uptowns, but even the black and white uptowns, like these are better. You know what I'm saying? Are these better than every pair of uptowns? Of course not. Are they better than the all whites and the all blacks? Yes. Would I choose these over the all blacks or all whites on every occasion? Hell no. I don't even wear uptowns. I ain't wore uptowns in like 15 years, but I need a pair. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna get a new I'm gonna get a pair. And you should know that. Get my light system, get my, get my everything going. So anyway, you know what I'm saying? These is tight. You know. If they had to throw a little embroidery on here, you know what I'm saying? Like a little panda right here, you know what I'm saying? A little black side, and then like a little panda on the lace somewhere, something like that. I mean, something to just make it a little more bop, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know what I'm saying? For the cool $90, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit. They cool, you know what I mean? Even if you wear them one day, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you're going to wear them more than one day, but they're pretty comfortable. You know what I'm saying? I see the wrinkle coming in a little bit already, so they're not going to be the pair that you that's not going to have a crease in them. But that's okay. You know what I'm saying? These is dunks, man. These is for you to learn how to dunk in, bro. Not really. They feel flat to me, you know? I feel like they don't have the arch in them. I don't think they do. They don't look like they do. But they, they, they nice, man. They nice little kicks. Like I said, for the price. For the price, man. How you gonna, you know what I'm saying? What you gonna get for a hundo, bro, nowadays? Back in the day, you get you some Air Maxes. You get you some Jordans. That was what the Jordans was back when I was in high school. $100, $120, $130. Now... What they two fifty two? I don't even know. I don't, I, you know, I don't buy Jordans when they drop. Now I get them after, for the most part. But I know they cost like two something. I think. I think. I don't even know. They probably cost. Yeah, they probably cost like two twenty for some J's. You might get a pair for one fifty, one sixty. But shit, like I said, up there was probably one fifty. You go to the wrong spot. Fuck around, pay one sixty for some up for some white on white. I ain't that far removed from the game. I was looking at Pele Pele's. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna run down on some of those, bring them shits back. Them shits is crack. Them shits is Joe crack. Pele Pele stopped playing. The leather jacket stopped playing. The only nigga I know that used to really go hard up until real recently that I seen is a nigga named Brad. Brad Diesel. That nigga, DJ nigga, that nigga. His Pele game was pretty solid and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure it probably still is. He get, he, get, he get a little jiggy with his shit, you know what I'm saying? He do his ones and twos and shit, but other than him, I ain't seen the real, I ain't seen the nigga in the pele. So I'm like, oh, I, I could fuck with that, you know, I could do that shit. Just like this ice cream BBC shit, you know what I'm saying? The reason why I'm really, one of the reasons why I'm fucking with it again now, I don't see nobody really fucking with it. You know, I like to fuck with, I like to introduce something that's either new or not like everybody on it. I don't like everybody on it type shit. Not for me. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I might be selling everybody on and I still copy it. Like, like Nike boots. I got the old Tim's. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I try to find something that's a little more, I can have some pride in it. For whatever that's worth it. Sometimes. Sometimes I go with the bullshit, too. You know, but... Yeah, so... 
I was looking at Pele Pele's. I was looking at eight ball jackets. I was thinking about Vansons. You know, like the stuff I used to wear. You know what I mean? Back in the day, like that's the stuff I'm thinking about. Like, yo. Because I don't be with the new wave like that, bro. It got to really bite. Can't just be like, I hear about it. Like, I got on some black and whites. I could have got I could have got these in black and white. Or was it called off-white? I heard about some brand off-white. I be seeing their sneakers up in the two, threes, fours. So, I guess that's cool. I don't even look at that shit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if I had a lot more money and a lot more.